This video is going to walk you through the, the Salesforce password policies and it may, eventually people are going to get locked out of the system or they're going to have passwords that expire and what this does is to show you what you can do. Um, I'm going to talk about three different things from a resetting password perspective and then there's also three ways that your policies are set. Um, and so if we jump right into it, um, looking at uh, for a given user, when they get set up, if you if you go out here to the My Settings area, you can do Change My Password, and you can actually manage your password uh, for each user. It's important that they set up a security question because then uh, that makes it easier for them to be able to, to retain access to the account. It also reminds them exactly what you set up uh, in terms of new password requirements. Uh, then once they're set up, the way to reset them is from the users page if they're locked out you can always reset a specific password or a collection of passwords uh, and that'll make that work uh, another option you have is to expire all of your passwords and all this does is to basically say everybody needs to when they log in again they need to be asked for uh, passwords to set a new value so it's it's like they they've all expired um, now that's not going to affect those folks that are selected as um, passwords never expire. And so let me take you through a couple of these, the other features then of the password uh, policy kind of process. The first is that when you go out to password policies, and this is within the security section of the settings area, this is where you're setting kind of the organization wide default for passwords. And so, you know, as you, as you look through this, you, you know, as you, if you've inherited the system, you may have to kind of figure out exactly where things are right now. Uh, but this is the, the, the basic information. Uh, the other place that you can go to is to go out to the uh, profiles. And for each profile, so if I'm looking here at the systems administrator profile that I've cloned, and I do a search on expire, what you find is way down in the process, uh, there's something here called user passwords expire, and this allows you to set them either kind of less than 90 or more than 90, or also the never expires. Uh, and in fact, if we, uh, if we look you know, one more time, there is one other checkbox that you can do, which is to say, uh, that they're never going to expire. So there's two different places to look. So if, if this is checked, uh, then uh, the, you know, you're, you're running interesting kind of contention issues. So make sure that they're both uh, in agreement. Um, and the, the other place then you need to look is in the permission sets. Permission sets are also within the user area. And I've built uh, one called Passwords Never Expire. And so going into that, uh, what you find is, is that uh, from a, again, this is the password never expires. And if you drop way down to the bottom, there's something called systems permissions. And if we go out and take a look at those, uh, and again, what we do is to do a search on expire, uh, and I'm in kind of edit mode. So at this point, if I go down, I find uh, passwords never expire. I can do a check mark here. And then what I'm able to do is kind of once that's in place, I can manage assignments and identify specific users that are going to be part of that. Uh, so again, what you have is you've got organization-wide defaults, which happen through the, uh, the security settings. You can go at it through the profiles, either as the uh, that, that password policy pull down or as a checkbox, or you can work and add people to a permission set, which gives them access to never expires, but then doesn't confuse the the profiles as to where things are. You know, the challenge is, is if you inherited a system, you got to figure this out. You know, th those are the kind of the three steps to be able to look. What I'd also refer you to is there's a really good article out here uh, that does a good job of taking you through scenarios of exactly kind of what needs to happen. So that's a, a good help as well. Good luck.